hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to uh, resume our discussion on uh, the subject of internet of things so it's been a while since i have posted a video related to internet of things so we will uh, take our discussion forward so so far in internet of things uh, we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to iot uh, and uh, what are the different uh, you know communication models uh, the different other uh, structure and all the related basic introductory concepts related to internet of things so in this video uh, in the next series of videos we will be focusing on the key technologies that 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 make possible this whole concept of internet of things okay which which uh, actually create this whole iot system the key technologies so we'll discuss some basic things and then we'll discuss those key technologies so before we go deep into this let us just have a quick refresh at some of the key concepts related to iot so basically uh, iot or internet of things it has two important parts first is the things and next is the internet so all the things interconnected with each other that is called as internet of things so this things in iot uh, basically it can be any component which is driven by electrical means okay or the output of that device has to be converted into electrical form through suitable transduction techniques so it can be any electrical gadget machinery sensors transducers controllers processors actuators anything okay but the the important thing is that the output the final output should be in electrical form and all these things when they are connected to each other so that there can be sharing of information between one thing or one device or one component with the other that is called that whole system is called as internet of things where everything is connected with each other for the purpose of sharing of information okay so all these devices uh, that are part of this iot system they have unique identities and they are basically used for sensing actuation monitoring controlling and they exchange data with each other okay so these are the key elements involved in internet of things so the main objectives of iot are first to connect all things with one another with the help of internet for the exchange of data and information for sensing actuation processing analyzing control monitoring whatever and to provide services depending on these operations okay so this is all about iot so we have already discussed these things in detail in the previous videos so if you want you can watch those videos now how to achieve this whole system iot how to make this whole system possible what enables this to happen you know so that is important how can we achieve it this is the thing this is what we want okay we want this whole system which is called as iot where everything is connected with each other there is sharing of information there is all the other things associated with it the characteristic features but how to do it how can we achieve that so that is where the key technologies which come together to achieve this target this objective so the internet of things is made possible by using many technologies and there are four key technologies that are involved which make this whole iot system possible in a broad sense 
first one is wireless sensor networks then we have cloud computing then big data embedded systems and finally internet which is which is necessary but these are the four key technologies wireless sensor networks cloud computing big data and embedded systems so these are the four important technologies that make this whole iot uh, the internet of things possible okay they are the basic building blocks of this iot structure okay so each of these uh, you know uh, concepts they are actually a separate subject in itself which is very vast very deep so uh, in the next series of videos we'll just try to cover them what is necessary for our understanding for our discussion related to iot in a very short way i will try to cover them maybe when uh, i if i uh, make a video on these subjects separately uh, that will be a separate series of videos which will be dedicated to each subject but in the next series of videos we will keep it very short okay only related to our discussion related to this subject of internet of things okay so in this video we are going to discuss about wireless sensor networks now we already know what sensor is what sensor transducer they are so i have already made a video related to uh, sensors transducers and instrumentation the whole playlist is there and there uh, there are 30 or more videos related to uh, basic concepts related to various types of sensors so you can check those videos and uh, the only thing which is important here is the term wireless okay wireless wireless sensor networks okay so that is the key term here so sensor we all know sensor is a device which is used for the measurement of uh, a particular physical quantity okay and to convert that physical quantity into electrical form so basically it converts energy conversion and as we are dealing with uh, electrical quantities everything is done with the help of computers so we need the output in in electrical form in voltage or current form so that's why sensors are devices which convert the physical quantity under measurement into electrical form so that it becomes easier for analysis okay so we have discussed about various types of sensors for various variable measurement quant parameter measurement for example temperature it can be rtd thermistor thermocouple for pressure measurement we can use strain gauge bellows borden tube for humidity measurement we can use hygrometer so like that now the basic block diagram of a sensor system we also know we have the source from where the parameter is, is to be measured whether it is pressure temperature humidity whatever then the sensor is interfaced or it is connected to that point because of some the, the depending on the operating principle the output quantity in whichever form it is it is passed through a signal conditioner which performs various uh, things on it such as amplification energy conversion or filtering of noise signals uh, if it is a passive transducer then it provides the necessary you know uh, electrical means so that the output is in electrical form in voltage or current form then the final output it can be used for display it can be used to generate alarm it can be used for storage whatever purpose it is so this is the basic block diagram of a measurement system involving sensors now wireless sensor networks what they are it is a group of various 
devices measurement devices or various sensors and transducers which are used for uh, monitoring the physical or environmental conditions basically it is used for uh, these uh, objectives to achieve these objectives it can be used for measurement of temperature pressure humidity air quality so the only difference here is that there is not just only one sensor here or two sensor here or three sensors here it consists of many sensors many sensors and they are not connected with the help of wires okay wires or cables no the information exchange or the sharing of data between the sensors happens through wireless communication there are various protocols there so i have already discussed about the various types of communication models communication protocols in iot and also in computer networking and data communication so i will not go into that here otherwise it will unnecessarily make the video lengthy so you can check out the previous videos related to iot in the iot playlist internet internet of things playlist and the computer networking and data communication that playlist where i have discussed various concepts related to data communication okay so wireless sensor network basically is a group of multiple sensors or transducers which are placed for measurement or monitoring of various physical or environmental conditions and they are not connected through any physical means means uh, wires cables anything everything the data exchange the data sharing it happens through wireless communication okay so these uh, uh, sensors these devices it can be connected through various types of network topologies this also we have discussed in data communication network uh, computer networking so it can be mesh mesh topology star topology bus topology ring topology depending on the requirement depending on the cost uh, constraints depending on the operational requirements so depending on all that it, it it has to be decided which type of topology suits this whole uh, wireless sensor network architecture okay now so what happens that we have a group of sensor nodes that are placed at different locations to measure various variables so finally the data which is uh, collected or which is uh, the final data which is of uh, importance it is transmitted by these group of sensor nodes to the base station then from that base station with the help of internet again which is interconnection of networks through various uh, wireless communication protocols that data packet is transmitted or it is sent to the user the client okay so this is the whole wireless sensor network architecture now at the end by the user or the client which who needs this data he or she can use it for uh, storage purpose he or she can perform various analysis to determine any to make any conclusion or anything as per his or her requirement you can process that data can mine the data to draw out various conclusions so depending on his or her requirement he can perform any operation on the collected data okay so wireless sensor networks they are used for a variety of uh, applications it can be used for home automation smart home automation where uh, you know uh, different types of sensors are placed at different Uh, locations in the house to control the electronic or electrical appliances for example depending on the surrounding temperature when it exceeds or it goes below a certain threshold value the air conditioning system will get activated would get on or it will be turned off also another example of home automation is that uh, when uh, evening approaches and the sunlight it goes below 
a certain threshold value which is determined with the help of photo detectors the lighting in the external lighting of the house will get turned on okay like that or similarly when uh, at midnight uh, or at some when uh, after a certain time at night uh, the alarm system uh, of the house will get activated so that if any person tries to sneak into the house with the help of, uh, of any unfair means or anything like that illegal means then the alarm system will get activated so different types of sensors will be used for temperature we will use temperature sensors for um, light sunlight measurement photo detectors will be used for uh, uh, intruder detection motion sensors may be used so depending on that similarly weather monitoring temperature pressure humidity atmospheric pressure all that different sensors are used in agriculture for irrigation soil moisture measurement is done with the help of hygrometers so that when the soil moisture goes below a certain threshold value the irrigation system will get automatically activated the sprinkler system okay water sprinkler system similarly biomedical patient monitoring where the vital parameters of the patient such as blood pressure body temperature uh, respiration rate uh, blood flow uh, and all the other uh, pupil dilation all of that is measured with the help of suitably placed sensors and that data is continuously monitored by the uh, health uh, you know personnel the doctors so that when there is any abnormality shown in those parameters they can take quick action and also for surveillance and monitoring for security purposes wireless sensor networks are used so these are the various applications of wireless sensor networks so there is there are a lot more to this whole subject of wireless sensor networks i just tried to cover this in as less time as possible so this is all about wireless sensor networks so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much